DJ? DJ, you wanna come outside? <laughs> you wanna open your eyes? Oh, there's my Mamil Bowie. Okay. Maddie. Diddy. Somebody pay attention to me. DJ. DJ. Kaput, kaput. Uh, uh. DJ. Oh, good boy. Maddie, come here. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, okay, good boy. Oh, no bubbies. Oh, no bubbies. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I am up and awake. Ooh, my throat's not hello. Good morning, guys. I am up and awake, and it is time to work out. But before I work out, you know, I gotta do a zip fizz shake. And today we are having bam! Oh my god, fruit punch! Absolutely, one of my favorites. Right, guys let's get ready to shake it in three two one all right guys to a great day a great week staying disciplined and consistent and making yourself proud mm. oh oh and to fruit punch yes 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 downstairs and then just like spending the next 30 minutes or so on the bike so I'm glad to be able to do that inside today I do plan on um, going outside like when the weather gets better it was still a little cold this morning so at least I'm riding my bike inside though so I'm on my bike it's almost time for the YouTube live uh, and then today is all about beef it's hashtag beef day so I'll show you what I'm eating but uh, I'm gonna finish up this bike ride and head to YouTube fun fact did you know that old people get their taxes done for free, but due to the pandemic, they're not doing taxes anymore. I guess they don't want like people to come and like congregate and stuff like that, especially old people who are more susceptible. So like none of the old people in my family like know what to do about their taxes. So they're like, Autumn, you're smart, right? You went to college, you can do our taxes. So somehow doing all the old people's taxes in my family became my responsibility this year, you know? Like, sure, I can come over and help you, like, reprogram the remote. Yes, I can come put together a piece of furniture you bought, but, like, you want me to do your taxes? So, at this point, I've officially done, like, four family members' taxes, plus an elderly neighbor, like, family friend. How do I make a business out of this, you guys? But the funny thing is, I was telling my mom, like, the business model wouldn't work because these old people are used to getting their taxes done for free. So it's not like I can be like, sure, 200 bucks a pop to do your taxes. Like, A, they barely have any income anyway. B, I can't do that to them. So here I am just volunteering my time doing my uh, family's taxes. I haven't eaten anything, but I'm honestly not that hungry right now. I know that I will be as soon as all of this thinking is done. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know that, like, Family's the gift that keeps on giving, you know? They've done so much for us, now let's do our part for them. You know what I'm saying? Also, on the upside, I've learned a new skill. Like, this is kind of fun. Like, comment down below, what's the last new thing you've learned, and did you enjoy doing it? Like, I love learning new things. Like, I've never seen a pension distribution tax form or social security distribution tax form. I've never had to have those. But now, I'm super familiar because I've, I've done this so many times already, so it's a cool thing to learn, and that's family for you. So what is my husband doing? Standing there. You are not standing. What? 
Not literally. Now who's being mm -hmm. literal? You always hate when I'm literal. And exactly. now you, you want to literally tell me. You know no, because that is a facet like of my personality. Man. Not me being extra. It's a facet of your personality. It is. You are not a literal it's person. It's a facet of your personality. It's not a facet of your personality. It's not a facet of my no. personality. It's not a facet of your personality. You are not literal. I am preparing my wife's flank steaks. Yes, you are. Your hamburger. Yes, you are. Ooh, look, we got hamburgers right there. Ugh. I forgot to get the frozen kind from Costco, but this'll do, pig. This'll do. Look at my raw flank meat. Ooh, my husband fine. Ooh, my husband fine. Yes, Lord. Just giving my husband the googly eyes while he comes oh, out here. Yeah. And, okay, you got the door. Okay. okay. Oh, it smells so good out here already. Oh, oh my gosh. Mmm, the wafts. The steak wafts. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. You're so beautiful. Look at my baby flipping these burgers, flipping the boigas onto the grill like a pro. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. All of the meats. Meat, meat. Turn up the grill in here, baby. Extra hot, I want y'all to see this. Oh Turn up the meats in here, baby. You know what I need, won't you to see all the meats? Won't you to see all of the meats? You're so weird. Come on. You're so weird. That's my wife, though. Okay. Weird as she needs to be. Oh, I have to be weird to keep up with you. Oh, let's not go there. That, uh, uh, you, look, debate in the comments. Who's weirder? My wife. He's the weirdest. I love you. You are. I love you too. But at least you cook my meats. I'm not saying weird is a bad thing. I'm just saying objectively, you are weirder than me. Oh my God. Where's the lot? Okay guys, all the meat is done and I would love to eat, but I always leave stuff to the last minute and that really makes me mad. So now instead of eating my burger meats, I have to shred cheese. <laughs> so thanks to the fact that my mom got us a vacuum sealer for our anniversary last month, I've now been able to buy cheese in bulk. This is actually my first time buying cheese in bulk, so I'll be able to just cut off the amount that I need this week and then vacuum seal the rest of it. So. I have to shred eight ounces of cheese for my burgers and then I can finally eat because I'm starved. I love mustard. Mustard tastes so good. I love hot sauce. Oh yeah. Okay you guys, these are my two burgers. I shredded some cheese, put some bacon on there and I'm just so hungry so I'm gonna stop talking. Mm. First of all, the melted cheese on the plate. Mm, mm. But now I'll actually have some boiga. So this is just a hamburger with cheddar cheese, bacon, and then I have some regular yellow mustard and uh, some hot sauce on here. Mm. Mm. It is just delicious, absolutely delicious. Cheesy, salty from the bacon and from the cheese, just like the seasoning that my husband put on the burger is delicious. The charness, charness, I don't know, from the grill. This is so great, and the best part, this is only the first half. I got all that flank steak. Ooh, that's, that, that's like, that's like half a pound of flank steak, Lord. Oh, I just can't even. Did I hear my what name? Did, you do? did I hear my name? I did not say anything about you. I thought I heard something about who cooked amazing food. No, that was not said, so. <sighs> okay, back to you talking to the No, game. I'm done talking, I'm eating. Uh. Okay, this and then flank steak. Okay guys, look at this pile of steak right now. I am so excited. This is steak that I have reheated to cook through a little bit more. And I added in this Lily's Q sauce. And then to up the fat a little bit, honestly, because I had some left over, I decided to top it in my Chipotle mayo. So like, that's just gonna add another layer of spice and a creaminess to this, like, Enough talking, more eating. Oh my gosh, look at them. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. 
so many flavors. Okay, guys, I am all staked out. Like a steak out. <laughs> Why haven't I used the pun steak out before? <laughs> so I was just on a steak out. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. Okay. So I am done and now it is dessert time for dessert. I'm having moon cheese and then I'm also having a Quest cookie. So I randomly bought a bunch of different variety of Quest cookies a while ago. And so, you know, what happens whenever I find I have a lot of something, I like try to split it up and integrate it into my meal prep. So today I'm having double chocolate chip. I have peanut butter chocolate chip, regular peanut butter, and regular chocolate chip left. So I'm going to have this. I'm going to have some water, maybe some diet soda, question mark? And I don't know, but this is gonna be dessert. Oh, look at my boy! Oh, Winston! Oh, Winston Bugs! Come here! Come here! For some reason, we're having an impromptu family uh, reunion at my Aunt Beverly's house. So. I literally was. Ah! <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> no, he's so cute. <laughs> so I came over here to my Aunt Beverly's house, unbeknownst to me, my mother and my grandmother are here too. And the newest addition to the family. The newest addition to the family. There's BJ. He's just old. He's old, but you're a good boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> so he left me like I was chopped liver to go. He ain't good for nothing. Didi, you come visit your mom. You come visit your mom. Good boy. Oh, okay. He walked right past her. Oh, okay. Okay. Maddie's coming to visit mom. Maddie's coming to visit mom. Maddie's coming to visit mom. Okay. And there's Richard on our bridge. <laughs> He's so cute. There's M Milton. Hi, boy. You having a good time? You having a good time, buds? The weather is a beautiful outside. We're just out here hanging with our dogs, <gasps> living our best life. Yes, we are. I love you. Mm, I love you. Now we got to get these munchkins. Oh my okay, come on. Okay, guys, I am done eating for the day. Today was awesome. All of the meats, all of everything. It was really, really great. The weather was awesome. I had a great day, a good workout. <sighs> I am tired and I'm looking forward to going to sleep. I mean, that's all I have to say. Like, I'm off to the day fasting this week, so I am fasting tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, how I feel doing that. But overall, today was a great day. I hope you had one as well. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next week. Bye. <laughs> oh, I just can't even. Did I hear what my did you? I love you. No, that is not the whistle of someone that no. Yeah, no. Look at the way he treats me. She look at the way you treat me.